Hey everybody, welcome to Grease Ducks Wrestle Harmlessly. That's from John Drangus on YouTube. Support this show, join the 420 Club at patreon.com slash getting Doug. Doug plugs, tonight here in Los Angeles, I'm taping Doug Loves Movies at 9.30 p.m. at the UCB Theater on Franklin Avenue. And then I'm doing Doug Loves Movies again this Saturday in San Francisco at the Punchline at 4.20. Great spot for comedy and a great spot to go outside after the show and smoke. And then I'll be at the Traverse City, Michigan Film Festival August 8th, I mean, <laughs> August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, doing all kinds of shows, Douglas Movies, A Movie Interruption, of Teen Wolf. For all of my dates and deets, go to douglasmovies.com and enjoy the show. My, my chair! <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Blast off. Hey, we're in the spacement. Welcome. And we've got an old bee and a new bee. It's Carlisle Forrester and Carmen Morales. Hello. Hi, thanks for Carmen, having me. first time on the show. Thank you for being here. Long time listener, first time smoker. Oh, wait, you've never smoked before? We're not here, <laughs> not in this. Oh, I've been smoking since I was 14, but yeah, this is good, here. Yeah, good, because that's, yeah. we need that. It's <laughs> so. so your first time to smoke with a purpose, is what we're saying. Yeah, yeah, I've never had to smoke for work before, so this is great. This is required. Smoking. Writing we marijuana were, uh, off as a business expense. <laughs> 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 we were vaping it up a great deal on Josh Wolf's show, mm -hmm. the uh, Chaos. What's it called? Chaos with Josh Wolf, I think? No. Comedy? C controlled Chaos. Controlled Chaos. <laughs> controlled... I don't know, I was very high for it, as you remember. Yeah, yeah, so we were smoking during that. That's that's where I got the brilliant idea to ask you to come on this show. Well, I appreciate you having me. And uh, yeah, it's great having you here. And Carlisle, of course, this is her second time on the show. That's right. She, she knows what's back. up. Likes to get really high. That's what they said in the comments what last time. They were like, on this show. "Look at that girl. She just keeps going for it." <laughs> <laughs> Look at that That's girl. That's me. Who are you on with? You're on with uh, Matt, Besser. Matt Besser. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they definitely met you when they said that. <laughs> <laughs> They'd only call him a girl if he wasn't going for it. Yeah. Right. You know, you pussy, mm. girly man. <laughs> but uh, we'll be uh, smoking any minute now. Uh, I wait for the alarm to go off, just, you know, as a traditional kind of thing. But we've got a wait sativa breath. in Ooh. all of the pipes called Lamb's Breath. Oh, yeah. I've never had that one. That sounds fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I as a name, it doesn't. I don't really like dragging in, uh, you know, an animal that's not involved in any way, and and also isn't lamb's bread like that, kind that of a religious exp expression? Yeah, yeah. But that you don't like that about it. Well, I don't know You're why you name any strain after an animal. You're not smoking that animal. That's true. Also, it's a farm animal. It doesn't smell good. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's oh lamb. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good oh, with mint. Lamb fur. Mm. Lamb's breath is like a gentle high. Maybe is that what they're trying to say? Like it's going to put know. you to sleep like a. Lamb. Well, I mean, uh, that's not good for a sativa me, then if it's like you're going to sleep like a lamb. Yeah, right? Little baby lamb. <laughs> Somebody told me it was a Bob Marley thing. Mm. Yeah, but that person who told me, no longer in my life. <laughs> 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 I understand why. <laughs> Did I say the name of the indica? Nope. See, this sounds more fun. Purple honey. Yeah. yeah. See, that, that sounds, sounds like a sativa. Yeah. Lamb's bread sounds like an indica. That sounds like a coffee you pay too much money for. A purple honey. <laughs> like, that sounds Way like a very too much. artisanal. Yeah. Or a girl you pay too much for. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so we should smoke because it is uh, it is 20 minutes after the hour somewhere. Yes. And, uh, 20 somewhere. I mean, it's 20 minutes after the hour everywhere and 420 somewhere. So go ahead and pick up any one of these uh, things. They've all been loaded by our Since friend you're the Taylor. Virgin. 
With, I uh, think I'm going to go bowling. Except for that, of course. No? It, oh, no, he did load it. Damn! <laughs> Damn, Taylor! Because you got to pack that thing tight if you're going to put it back on its side like that. I just assumed it was empty. Nice. But well, here that's you go. how good the weed is. It's stuck to the side. The Lebowski is an excellent choice, ma'am. Thank you. Um, and uh, I think, do you remember this crazy, weird eye, eye pipe? It's got an interesting uh, texture. Okay. And then we're also yeah. introducing to the table today, we might as well change the show to Getting Duck with High. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, called Quack, and it's from our friends at Peacemaker. Sent me a couple of these little beauties. And oh, I love the, the rubber bowl. ones, because then they don't break. Exactly. I mean, this thing is just up for anything, including being in your bathtub or pool. That's what I was just thinking. You could smoke <clears throat> in the jacuzzi. He just floats over. Hey, dude, what's up? That's so dope. Like, what a I'm good idea. I'm going to suck some weed out of your mouth while putting my finger on your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> the whole placements on a lot of things are very, <laughs> are very on purpose. Yeah, I don't. It's funny. Yeah, you are straight up making out Wah. with a duck. Wah. You literally Wah. squeeze it. It comes out the. I love this. I know it's wasteful to do this, but that looks great. Oh, this fucker can blow smoke rings better than me. <laughs> wow, that's. God damn, that's a perfect smoke ring. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty rad. <laughs> so mad at my my duck. <laughs> I mean, this is the best. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. We could clear the Dude, table and just perfect spend circles. an hour with this fella. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not like a stoner ASMR of just that video of a of a of a duck blowing smoke He's rings. Again. Yeah, I mean, if the Peacemaker people have it, if that's not their ad for this thing, they're out of their minds, because that's perfect, just watching this thing blow out rigs. I like that. God damn you. Rubber ducky, <laughs> you're the one. <laughs> Does it come in a swan, Peacemaker? Lots of fun. What? Does it come in a swan, Peacemaker? I believe can if we, this catches on, they will make all sorts of things. But it's just such a perfect starting place, because it's such a traditional item, oh, a yeah. rubber ducky. And uh, to just be able to have it in the bath. The next one, they're gonna have the one with the little horns. So remember, we used to sell those at Hot Topic, a mm -hmm. rubber ducky with horns, like a mm -hmm. goth, a goth rubber ducky. Because that's what Hot you mean. Topic. Hot Topic. Uh, but Hot, Hot Topic sounds way better. <laughs> Why doesn't that place exist? <laughs> oh, is that on a dispensary already? Do you smoke in the bath, Doug? I just um, picture you smoking everywhere. That's the, gonna be the fun part, is taking this on the road. Right? Because I got a dumb <laughs> bathtub here in Los Angeles, but out on the road, I, get, I like to get a nice big tub. Nice jacuzzi. And then you put this thing in there. Holy shit. I don't know why, I, I was gonna say fucker, and I decided to clean up my language. <laughs> <laughs> while well, yeah, talking about pre this duck bong. <laughs> we're so glad you did. We're in the presence of children. children. That's why. It does, it, it, is, it is bad in that sense, I guess, that it's like, uh, you know, that, uh, Joe the camel for the cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Like it is kind of a bad idea to be like making pot and weed smoking <laughs> this cute. But again, you are sucking it out of his face while <laughs> fingering yeah, it. Yeah, to finger his butt hole for it's the It's gonna car. be huge in so, Japan. They love, they love dirty cute things. <laughs> <laughs> I also keep thinking of that floating uh, Donald Trump that you see, uh, the Donald Trump balloon that shows up uh, once in a while. Uh, I, I think that uh, they should make a you know Trump head out of this and uh, you think it's Donald Trump. Although you'd have to look at him, which I guess isn't fun. But I, I just think it's the idea of smoking out of him, I bet, would make him very <laughs> unhappy. Although maybe it wouldn't, because he likes anything he's like that's an ego about him. Yeah. There's no way he's you like know, being buildings that. after me, smoke yeah. out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he still retweeted the picture, like of the statue of him with a micro penis. Like he's he's taken any oh, press. I love that. He's taken any press. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he like that? He retweeted. It. Of course, we're <laughs> well, like a country thing to say, him. obviously. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> it's any press is good press for that guy. <laughs> All right, what's your high history, Carmen Morales? When was the first time? High history. <clears throat> I heard you were fourteen. I was fourteen. Yeah. Ooh. Here's, what was fucked up is I was introduced to pot and cigarettes at the same time. And uh, obviously, marijuana won. Um, because <laughs> Thank I, God. Because yeah, um, I was smoking pot with a, a kid named Spike, um, who looked exactly like you would imagine. And uh, he had a tongue ring, 16. I mean, he was a badass, you know. 
um, probably as a skinhead now, definitely regrettable hanging out with him now. Okay. You know? um, <laughs> and I was, I had, I had to, was, I was performing in a play, and it was after school, and it was like him and like two other bad kids, you know, bad kids, mm -hmm. and. Um, and they're so they gave me pot for the first time, and then I smoked it and had to go do rehearsal, like ripped out of my mind. Did like, they, they had they had a joint. Did you have lines that you were supposed to avoid? Yeah, <laughs> it was a whole play. The whole play was an hour long, and it was just two people, and I was one of the people. But did they teach you, or did they just give you the pot and send you on your way? No, it was a bong, a joint. You started with a bong. Bong joint. That's heavy. And a blunt all at the same time in the same circle with four kids. You knocked out all of it. And all I got at a shotgun time. the very first time. Like, and they oh, put Jesus. it all in one fucking session. Wait, when a I shotgun smoking, like somebody else blowing it into your mouth? Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, Spike you was really, a player. You really yeah. grew up that day. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, left, I left that, that pot circle 25. <laughs> Crammed a lot of experience mm -hmm. in that one sesh. All right, well, I, this is a weird follow-up question, but this is what these are the things I think about. Uh, you're in a, it's, it's a high school play? Yeah. With only two people in it? Mm -hmm. What's the, what, what, what's the what play? What do the rest of the kids that like to be in plays do while that production was going on? <laughs> Sit around going, well, it good for Carmen and that other guy. <laughs> oh, it was in repertory with other, sh other yes. plays? Yes, yes, yes. This okay. was a show we were putting on for like comp a competition type of deal. Okay, now that now it's all making more sense. I mean, I remember in my high school they did one play that only had four people in it, and I was one of the four, so I was okay with it. Of course. But, <laughs> but that is messed up. <laughs> also, in our in the in the case of our school, there were not many people auditioned anyway, so mm -hmm. that okay. But um, usually, high school shows are ones where like there's a million characters, yeah. So that there's everybody's got something to do. I wasn't one of those two. That was way easier. I should have went to all those rehearsals high, because I only had like two lines. It was great. Would Did anyone you just care? Sing? Was it a musical? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Was it a musical too? Oh no 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 no. Okay. I was, like, for some reason, that was like the line for me. I was like, musical theater? No, no, I'm doing the regular plays. Like, it's such a weird, <laughs> cunty line to take. I'm still a nerd, you know? Are you still acting? You're thespian? I do, I'll do it, yeah. <laughs> You'll do She'll it? She'll do it. <laughs> Somebody makes her do it, she will. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a shotgun at 14. Pretty She's much. Up for anything. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, who wants to try a little bird? I'm you want to hit the bird? bird? Yeah, you want to give this thing a whirl? You should give the bird a sound effect. Oh and then every God. time somebody hits the bird, the sound effect happens. I mean... I'm just saying. He's on it already. From your I'm mouth producing. to Doug's ears. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this little <clears throat> bird hits. Yeah, we already have all these noises That's so that crazy. have to happen during the show. <laughs> um, let's. What do you want? You want an indica in there? <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, no, we'll give you the sativa. We need sativa. <laughs> yeah, we'll sativa it. Do they know it's the middle of the day? Like, we have to leave here at some point. We do have to leave here at some point, unfortunately. That's Does anybody true. ever think about what happens after the show? We do give you a ride home. No, I appreciate Uber it. No, no, that's, yeah. that's and then, um, If you gave me a ride home, I feel like that'd be worse. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a great uh, stone driver. Are you really? Yeah, I, I think most are. Well, yeah, I don't think, really I don't think slower. weed it, it hampers uh, driving or video game playing. <clears throat> mm -mm. All right. You know, maybe cutting vegetables. What's the one thing about pot that you don't like? High. Is there anything you don't like about being high? Like, if there was like a flaw in it without for it to not be perfect? Oh, that is a great question. Because like for me, it's like the only time I don't like being high is when I'm in a rush and then I get high or I am high and forget that I'm rushing. Yeah. And then I have like a moment of like a great time in my head and then I'm like, fuck, I'm late. Yeah. Yes, I'm still late. <laughs> that has not changed. That's the only time I ever get annoyed. Like I don't mind the memory loss or the, you know, not caring about things. I pretty, I can, I can navigate that. But yeah. forgetting I'm in a rush in the middle of being in a rush is annoying as fuck. I still feel equally empathetic when I'm high. I don't feel like it makes me not care. Or you mean just not uh, worrying about accomplishing Worry, yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can give yourself a pass, you yeah. know? <laughs> I, I, I feel like you should get high into whatever you're wanting to accomplish or not accomplish. Like if you want to have a lazy day, get high and do it. Yeah. And if you want to have a busy day, start doing the stuff. Make sure it's stuff you have to get done mm -hmm. and then go ahead and get high. 
But do you ever because I'm good at I'm yourself? good at following through when I'm high, but it's making the choice of where which way to go. That makes a lot of sense. That I can't do when I'm high. If that you makes a lot of sense. If you reward yourself with bowls along the way, then you can do that and be productive. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah, have the have the bowl away from the workspace and make yourself go back and forth between the two. Yeah, it's that's the very starting helpful. the thing because that's you the have thing. That happens when you get high. You can't start a thing. Start it first. You can do the whole process. You get and high your day is fucked reward. because you don't. You can't decide if you want to be lazy or do something. Yeah. Which is, of course, just creates a laziness, but it's not a fun laziness. You're not just watching TV no, no, you're just or relaxing. About the you're you're sitting you're trying to making. decide <laughs> which thing to do. <laughs> and you take so long to decide that then that fucks up. Like you said, you end up being late or like, you have, oh, no, I can't see that movie because I sat around wondering if I should go see that movie or not. That's why the Netflix mm. menu is my favorite show, I think, because it that's what I watch the most. It they, must be. They're, mm -hmm. they're bragging about how many people are watching whatever that latest movie was that did well. Yeah. I don't the believe Sandler that. The Sandler movie? Yeah. No, more, more everyone's most watched is just looking through the thing. Yes. That's everyone's that's most watched saying, program. Like, I think yeah. they should just, add that that's screen scrolling. time to their algorithm. <laughs> yeah. They always want to know how long we're watching into this things. This is how long people are looking for but this stuff. this is how long people are looking for shit. And these kind of images make these people look at this shit more like... I'm waiting for them to figure out that they man. can stick ads in between those things and we'd be forced to at least God. glance at them. But I guess as long as they're charging us, they can't do that. Oh, you're going to switch genres? Well, you have to hear from Colgate. <laughs> 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 Can you pass me the bong, please? I want to trade oh, you a duck for a Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm we haven't. It's gal. not even loaded. We haven't. Because so I, I usually hit that thing. So that's maybe that's what they were talking about in the comments the last time you were on. I kept going to this really, because it's a soft bong. It's a really nice one. It molds. I really the enjoy face. it. It's another peacemaker. It's from. It's the same uh, oh, material as our, our duck friend. Which also, should we do a contest to decide the uh, duck's name? Like people submit names yeah. for the duck, and hell yeah. And then we'll I'll have people vote on uh, on Twitter or something. I and appreciate we'll that you a, listen to we'll your people. have a duck's name. That's so nice. Yeah, I mean, if I had a great name for it right now, like I just thought of the perfect name for it, uh, then I would probably just christen it that. Yeah. But since I don't have one, might as well see what ideas are out there. I mean, it's called like quack on the packaging when you buy it. Look at but I think we could. It looks kind of like. I love that fella. With the leaf on the eye, it kind of looks like there's somebody in there operating it. Like, remember when uh, Ace Ventura was inside the rhinoceros mm -hmm. operating it? Like, it's, I feel like there's like a little dude in the, the head of that duck right there. All right, we'll be back to discuss more <laughs> of the, the film work of Mr. Jim Carrey. <laughs> Love that. Mom. Especially the films where he falls out of a, a fake rhinoceros's ass. <laughs> rhinoceros. Uh, with uh, Carlisle and Carmen. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, everybody. Have you heard about our new show, Doing Doug with Dabs? It's me, Alicia, and Taylor hanging out and doing dabs after tapings of some of the regular shows. Sometimes we'll invite a guest, sometimes it'll just be us. The show drops a couple times a month and is exclusive to members of our 420 Club on Patreon. Want to unwind with us after getting Doug with High? Head over to patreon.com slash getting Doug and sign up today. It supports this show and in return we'll send you a signed blue card, read your name during one of the shows, and you'll get early access to our pre-taped episodes. Pretty great! Check out patreon.com slash getting Doug to join today. Wait, well, hello there. So nice of you to still be with us. We're having a lovely session today and we're joined with Alicia. We're also joined Hi, by, Alicia. I don't know if the, this one is a different chair, I guess, but these armrests are so high. I feel so proper in this. I think that's <laughs> our usual chair. And but the sides are just up. We just got the, the arms wow. up, right, Taylor? I don't think so. I think it's a different chair. That's a different chair? I think so. It what? feels different. Like the back's totally the whole, different. Where did the that. other one go? It's right there. Oh, we grabbed the wrong chair. No, I love it this. I'm not like complaining. I just chair. feel. It's like That's at a good. electric chair height. Like, yeah, I don't like it. Like you're gonna die. I don't like you're it. such a you tiny girl in it. I don't know. I feel like it's it's so spacious. Well, I just for this show. Now yes. oh, you, you look like Avril Lavigne. There she always go. looks so uncomfortable in every picture <laughs> she's ever I'm sat really in. Comfortable though. Did I look uncomfortable? Yeah. Oh, she looked like. She, did you grow up in a treehouse? Like, like she you always have looks a lot so of thoughts about skater boys. And she, when she's just sitting uncomfortably. Um, all right, so Taylor, well, let's have you try that one in this show too and see how you feel about it. 
I think I'm over it. It was really fun for like the first <laughs> minute, but now I'm like, all right. I don't know what to do with my arms today. Uh, yeah, well, I guess you have to just put them on those things because they are just there. Or ignore them. Yeah. They don't need to be in your life. Really, it would be cool uh, if this could shock you, like it had the option. We could interrogate people. Because mm -hmm. it really does have that feel now that you bring that up. What's like going really... on in the uh, weed universe, Captain Kirk? <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, arms, I want to start with them because they're such good friends of the show and friends of pretty much all smokers at this point. Um, they are opening a weed, like, cafe restaurant deal here in, well, here in West Hollywood. Oh, so this yes. is going to be the first, like, actual licensed restaurant that can sell food um, with... <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> with THC <laughs> and with CBD in it. Um, they also, this is my favorite part. They actually have like what's technically an outdoor, like an open ceiling smoking space. So you get the fresh air. Wow. Yeah, I'm really oh, looking forward nice. to this. This is the first one in the country. Portland does have like a cafe where I think you can eat, but you have to bring your own weed. So that's the only difference there. So um, here you can buy it, you can eat it. It's yeah, in the butter. they have a full chef like who's Amsterdam. making a full menu. There's smoothies and tea That's and coffee. Amazing. Just no alcohol is their only. They're just oh, not, I like not that, allowed actually. to have alcohol and weed together. I don't drink. I love that. Why don't For some reason, just, you don't just want the, the liability of with the drunks. Okay, Carmen, it's a bad. It's bad. Do you remember news. that Disney movie where watch. you had to be a skier or a snowboarder <laughs> and you can't be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Tsunami! Oh my god, I haven't even thought about that Good movie pull. in 15 years. I love it. Yeah, movie. I haven't thought about it ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time hearing of it, okay, but I'm pretty well, intrigued. Movies, <laughs> pretty intrigued. But it's great. Disney has some good shit. That one where that kid turns into a merman when he gets wet was my favorite, the 16th year. The 13th, 13th year. year. <laughs> <laughs> I know these movies, I don't know what any of them are called anymore. Um, oh, so <laughs> this little restaurant, um, I mean, I guess it's worth mentioning. It has obviously gotten a little opposition from nearby businesses and buildings because they're very concerned about the smoke smell, especially with the open area. So there's actually a synagogue 300 feet from the location, Perfect. and the rabbi has not been too happy. But, I mean, he lost. They got the permit, and uh, wow. they're going to be I opening give soon. Him some lamb's when, bread when soon. And <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, my birthday party will be there. Uh, in, wow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a great idea, spot? though? Oh, that's like a, a good idea, birth. yeah. Just your alcoholic friends. You have to have I imagine, I imagine oh, yeah, yeah. everybody complaining is all an old lady neighbor. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. like, yeah. I don't want that fucking pot smoke wafted into my yard. I don't want that shit. <laughs> Get well, these so. fucking potheads out of here! <laughs> I just still, still think like, there's some truth to like Reef her Madness. Like she just can't take it. She's like, I don't want these dopas running around where I walk my dog. I don't want these fucking friends. You know what they do? <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I, I, mean, I don't I, believe anyone that says they dislike the smell. I, 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 <laughs> I find it to be a smell that's hard to, like, that's like saying I don't like the smell of, you know, the grass and the ground. I, can't, I yeah. can't agree with you, though, because as somebody who smokes weed a lot, like, I still don't like just randomly smelling it on other people. Or, like, even smelling it on myself if I'm not actively smoking. Like, when I, if well, I get into an jealousy. Uber and I realize they still smell like it, I don't know, I don't like it. Yeah, but, but it's not a bad smell is what I'm saying. It's not it's like strong. It's definitely smell better than poo. cigarettes. I feel like so I can no really offense. lean into you more Ooh. today. Like I can really tell you off. This is a whole different experience. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, so I was going to talk about this later, but it seems relevant now. If you want a cool birthday idea, um, Comic-Con was this last weekend. Doug was there, I was there, and we were tipped off to these two buses that were just parked downtown, like these really big buses. You know, they have like the four seats facing each other with the seats in the middle, like all lined down them. And so party one buses. of them, party buses, one of them you could get on and they would take you to this brand new dispensary that opened in Pacific Beach and you could smoke there and back legally. They have all the permits That's and everything. Wow. And the other bus was just staying parked and you could just get on it. They would dab you out, they'd give you pre-rolls. They had like the original Jack Harrow, like just were handing out grams to anyone that wanted to get on and do That's this. And I was sick. like, this is the best addition to Comic-Con I could even imagine. Wow. Yeah, we sweet. spent a lot of time on that bus. And, MJ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I got... Uh, I mean, those dabs, they were mango flavored. Yeah. 
mango flavored. Yeah, like I slept mango well during Comic Con, I'll tell you. I slept but I do. Well. So this Did is you a. Did dress up as Wonder Woman? I didn't dress up as anything. Because, I think you, you could know, do a good Superman. If I walk curl, around, though. people will take pictures with me like I'm dressed up like somebody. So it doesn't feels like you're in your Doug Benson. Feels costume. like bananas on bananas. How many boobs did you sign? I can't None this time. Come on. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's still you know it's uh, things are changing. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You I want to. Um... What's happening? I just don't. Uh, I used to get asked to sign boobs a lot, but I don't get asked as much anymore. I don't know what, what's different, but I, people don't ask me, and I, it's, o- it's always been on them. I, it's never been my idea. Okay, so the message is out. Doug is ready. Ladies, right? <laughs> ladies. <laughs> No, I always have a Sharpie, just in case. <laughs> just in case there's a boob that's too blank. Wait, I have my emergency Sharpie. But no, but people ask me to sign uh, bo- uh, bongs a lot and pipes oh, and uh, or or my one, you know my one hitter or my dugout. So people are always handing me random lots things. Lots of rolling trays, I'm sure. And rolling trays, lots of random things they want me to sign, and it, you know, and they'll hand me like a you know a bic or a golf pencil or something. So I always now carry a Sharpie. I'm always ready to sign anything at What's any time. What's the weirdest thing you had to sign? Oh my God! It's, had to sign. Uh, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, when weird like, going to head sign this. Will you sign? <laughs> Weird's not the right word for it because it's just a sad thing that that anyone. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> yeah, colostomy bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. funny. That's hilarious. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. It was, <laughs> it was it was funny but sad at the same time. That's hilarious for that person to ask. Okay, don't make fun of me. I'd really is it piss or shit? What's the colostomy? It's shit. Which one is that? It's a, oh. <laughs> Your butt. Was it clean or was it <laughs> was it an empty one? It was an empty one, yeah. But she her, her thing was she had a lot of comics sign it. And her intent was to fill it at some point. And I, now I might be, <laughs> I could even be mixing stories, which is, uh, you know, terrible. So but. she only got comedian, she doesn't like to sign it. And then she's like, <laughs> yeah, shit. <laughs> Take this, Anthony. You're all shit the brain. She's just yelling at it. I <laughs> think she up. also got all those signatures as tattoos on her body, I think. Oh. Yeah. So it just her body looks like the this walls girl of the comedy store. Yeah. I love the idea of her taking that to her tattoo artist. What's to her like name? Mitzi, by that. the way. You know, you can only get past the store if your signature looks like everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why all those comics take all those handwriting classes? You gotta uh, get it right. That's why they're there. That's why they're so right. full. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. man. I do just want to mention, so that the bus company, they're called MJ Tours. I think all their socials are MJ.Tours, and you can rent them out. I think they do weed and wine tours, but also I think one of the coolest things that they do is they will go to assisted living facilities. They will pick up the elderly who want to go to a dispensary. And smoke them out? They'll smoke them out That's on the bus. Rad. They'll show I them how to do this. all their stuff. They drive them back afterward. Like, what That's an awesome amazing. system. I think it's sweet, so... Everyone who worked Matt, on this bus them. was so nice, so nice, so friendly. There was people from Jack Herrera, which is uh, you know a company named after the you know pretty much the godfather of marijuana legalization, and um, you had a pretty great strength. And then they got these people from MJ Tours, and then and the new PV dispensary. As I understand it, the yeah that dispensaries they're, they're very nice there. It's a sweet spot. But they'll just the bus, the MJ Tours will take people from spot A to spot B. It doesn't have to be that dispensary or that event. Like they also did. Uh, Pride weekend in San Diego and uh, mm-hmm. took people to uh, a different dispensary that weekend. Like each time they work out a deal with another dispensary. I mean, it's That's genius so cool. business that they're all working together to yeah, let, let people get company. high legally. And I the idea of just in... being on a bus with people getting high on the way to the dispensary yeah. is that is heaven but to me. But legally too. I mean, cops, it was so funny. They would walk by and like we'd look at the windows and the first time I saw two cops walk by, I got a little nervous because in my head I'm like, I don't know like right. that this is actually legal. But they just kind of like stopped and like it seemed like one made a joke because they just kind of looked and left and like went on their way. I mean, they have they really they went over it all. They have their full permits. Like this is a, a yeah, legit they had business. They a nice giggle over it. It's awesome. They're just like fucking hippies. 
<laughs> it's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, man. You know, as long as uh, everybody's happy, like they they seemed in a good mood about Think it. About you know? it they didn't you're seem like mad. Old and you're in a nursing Plus, why are you shitting on hippies? They're all like rich do. now. Absolutely. Like all those Especially hippies are fucking rich. Instead of all these bullshit medications that yeah. probably have way worse side effects. Yeah, I'd be bored as hell. It'd be <laughs> nice to have a little field trip. You yeah. Know? Oh my God, bingo high? Are you kidding me? I want to sneak shit. edibles bingo into my grandmother. Bingo night would be lit in a nursing home if they were all high. Wait, you'd have to sneak a bit, or you mean you just want to bring her some? No, I just want to like bring her some, but she's in a different state where they don't have that yet. But mm -hmm. I feel like she's just sitting there all day. That's so boring. So yeah. next time I go well, home, you'll go I'm visit like, sometime, right? I'll be like, hey, you want a cough drop, Nana? Because you can bring a shit ton of it from from LAX. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you know they're cool with it when they put out a press uh, like a press release. Like, look, we don't give a shit about your stupid little pot pens. Nobody believes me though. Dude, Nobody I, believes yeah. me. I mean, when I tell them, everyone's yeah. like, no, it's still, you can't do that. <laughs> it's like, no, they said up to an ounce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I keep them it's to their, their word. Website. I, I mean, bring a goddamn ounce every time. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting around all night packing and weighing. <laughs> 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 They use an old school scale too, so it takes forever. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, it's this scale you normally use for justice. It's your lucky scale. Uh, Any other pot topics? Pot so many. I mean, we only did one, technically. Well, it never, <laughs> hurts, never hurts to save some for the um, uh, our after show. Uh, uh, well, don't worry about that. We have plenty. Doing Doug with dabs. <laughs> Ready. Go ahead. <laughs> so I I love this story because it's it's really just bizarre. Texas legally or recently legalized hemp. Um, so this means that you can have the hemp flower on you at any time. You can wear the necklaces, you can build <laughs> houses, ways. whatever you want. <laughs> the the problem here is that because it looks so much like your standard cannabis that's gonna actually have THC in it, police can't really just visually tell the difference. And so a lot of people are kind of taking this to mean that it's been decriminalized because it costs at least $600 for these police to test it. I mean, at that point, they don't want to spend the time, they don't want to spend the money. And so since this has happened, they've already thrown out a lot of cases against people. And so they're going back and forth. Lawmakers are saying that, you know, this is not legalizing, this is not any kind of gateway to weed, but kind of is. Right. Yeah, well, any, any way we can get there, I like it, you know, like, yeah. the, the, uh, that's what's crazy to me about, I'm under the impression when I drive, go around the country that, you know, there's signs, uh, you know, on freeways that say, that just remind everybody, hey, we've legalized weed here, but you can't drive high. I see those signs all the time, yeah. but I'm not seeing in the news uh, people being high, getting arrested or hurting anybody else or having any problems behind the wheel. That's why I well, said all studies are earlier, indicating that. Early, that's what I was saying case. earlier. Is I just feel like there's a focus to driving when you're high. Mm -hmm. well, you're gonna get if your kids are screaming in the back seat. I don't care if you're high or not. You're gonna get distracted by that more than just being in a car by yourself high. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, or texting, or drunk, or all the, all those things fall way behind being high. Being high is almost like just being on uh, whatever depression, anti-depression medication you might want to be on. Yeah. Y you're fine with people driving like that. Yeah. So why, you know, so why not high? Why anyway, not high? sorry. And also like high on like fucking Xanax and stuff like that. Like. That's People way worse. are fucked up way on a worse. million different things. That's what I'm There's like, a lot of jittery, extra angry drivers because of all the caffeine and sugar in people's systems. Yep. It's all everybody's fucked up. But the, Doug the, Benson for governor. But See, the high he's ones, pass it. the high people are just. That's what I'm saying though, is that they're getting, they're slipping under the radar here because yeah. it's not a big story that no. in all these states that have legalized that people are getting high and crashing into people. There's no evidence. It's also <laughs> funny to buy a billboard to be like, hey, like we're one of the cool states. Like, you know what I just mean? Just so like, you know. To advertise, hey, oh, and there are rhymes way. sometimes. Yeah, oh, of course. That's bad. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and, and buzz, buzz driving is, is drunk driving. Yeah. It's just like, no, Wait, well, no, okay. <laughs> Having a nice life, you yeah. know, be, like you know, I mean, that's almost like saying don't smoke a cigar and drive, you know, because that you you get a head thing from yep. doing that. All right, <laughs> uh, we got to go to another break. Thank you, Alicia. Thanks. We'll be right back after these words. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, we're back with comedians <laughs> Carmen Morales, Carlisle, Carlisle Forrester, and uh, Taylor Rizzo, the dab king of uh, North America. All of North and, America. Uh, yeah. I'm really coming up in the world. Yeah, well, I decided North America the last time uh, you dabbed me out, and uh, you know, just haven't been able to get it past that, but I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, you got all in North America at this point. Central and, uh, America. Super this proud is why of you. I wanted to come back, by the way. This thing is amazing. And I was telling her about it in the green room. I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah she's no, really uh, there's into no it. Torture she's up into the dab, no, just a button. Dr. Dabber's Oop. switch. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, the blowtorch like freaks necessary. me out. It's a good setup. I don't like yeah. the blowtorch. It's it's Let's no do, I'll, I'll do one up front. That's a lot of people's gripe example. with uh, dabs. A lot of people are scared by the torch. So this just really uh, yeah. Well, I'm not a pastry chef. Makes it, uh... <laughs> Why should I own a fucking blowtorch? <laughs> I'm not a welder. <laughs> Well, Green yeah. means go. Those are the three people that need them. <laughs> I mean, I think a little blowtorch on a, a keychain is probably not a bad idea for <laughs> for anyone alone at night. Need a little creme brulee. If you're, yeah, yeah but also maze. just for security. Can just you torch imagine him. torching somebody? <laughs> God damn. I could imagine it. I could imagine it. That would it. make someone leave you alone quick. It always makes me think of those stuntmen from the uh, movies in the 80s where there's always a guy running on fire. Yeah. <laughs> He's always running like this. <laughs> yeah, never just fucking roll around on the ground. Back dang. in the days before it was CGI and that really yeah. was a guy on fire. Yeah. You get like, so stupid zoo. when you're on fire. You just totally, you start thinking about other things. You don't know what to do. <laughs> you start remembering old phone numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gary Busey, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, Gary it'll go Busey. It's red when it's heating up, but when it's green, you think it's you're good. To just hit <laughs> normal. Oh, here we go. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you later. It's Carlisle's yeah, first dab. This is to hold her over until the next this, time she comes on. Of this on. show. Of this episode. Ooh. Killed it. Like a pro. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a cloud blowing competition next month. If you got, I'm gonna plug that now, Doug. My vape cloud. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say, I really hope that's I real. I was so excited to look really down this card and see <laughs> all I got is podcasts, a bunch of road dates. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. Podcast. That's mine. Oh, that's yours. That's me. Well, shit. Maybe Carlisle does have the, the bubble thing. Right <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble thing. <laughs> Oh, all right, so let's back up. Carmen Morales has a podcast. Hello. No, sir, I don't like it. I was talking so fast, Carl, I didn't even have a chance to say, I have a podcast called that. <laughs> uh, but uh, Carmen's going to be at the Miami Improv August 7th. Ooh! I'm going to be there like a few days later. I think oh, I'm there on the 10th. Yeah. I'll uh, still be in Florida if you want to party. All right, West Palm Beach Improv August 8th and uh, Ontario Improv August 13th. Yeah, I think I'm doing Douglas <coughs> movies uh, in Miami on uh, the 10th of August. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I'll ask you, I'll, I'll double back on that one. Sounds fun. Yeah, really smart of me to do booking things after getting really high. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got another show to do after this one. I'm gonna write something down right now on this card. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, so I remember, <laughs> I gotta do the right one. All right, are you gonna do a dab, Carmen? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry to put so much pressure on you. Thank it's you been for, a while. Thank you for giving me. It's been a while since uh, I've done I'm that. I'm right down. You're going to do it. Okay. Do you, do you like movies? One. Do you uh, go to lots of movies? I do. Well, I date a movie nerd, so I have to. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Miami, right, it'll go red while it's August up. Whenever 10th. Whenever it's green, it's good to go. Okay. Question mark. See if we can see if we can make this happen. I think we can. I'm in. Yeah, Carlisle Forrester. Go for it. What up? Where you gonna be, girl? Carmen, you're oh, good to so go. I have <laughs> a all female comedy show that I do once a month at the Dojo of Comedy on Sunset. That's at 7038 Sunset Boulevard. Last Wednesday of every month, all female lineup. Friend of your Sunset show, Jay Catapretta is the headliner. This uh, Jay, Jay Catapretta is the headliner. This July thirty first, mm -hmm. I'll be yep. there. Uh, 
Carmen's going to be on it. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty there. Pretty soon. Yes, I am. So we look over that. It's the last it Wednesday of every month. Last Wednesday every month at the, the dojo. dojo comedy. Eskimo Sisters the Show. Eskimo Sisters Show, because it's all girls. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Do you have a dude on every once in a while so that people will come? The dude that we <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that why was, I'm That was me. mean, but it was honest. You know what Eskimo Sisters means, right? They fuck the same person. Right, so the dude that we all fucked is the headliner. I'm just kidding. That's not true. But <laughs> That's a great I'm idea. Stunned by that that premise. was such a great idea, though. No. We could, but we want the show to be funny, so we don't. Yeah, and I'd, um, I'd never get on it. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I, I was just more hinting at, like, what, would you put a dude on? Well, we or, are you asking ourselves. for me? I would stick yes, to it. I'm the dude. Only one, <laughs> <laughs> only one time in uh, the history of this show, maybe two, but I think one definite one, did someone come on here and just not smoke the entire time. And so I've really been strict about, please don't come on here and do that. Yeah. Just really come on and smoke. Right, right, right. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be a little if you're not that into it. It's still fun to see a celebrity get kind yeah. of fucked up. You know? So my show is like that, but you have to have a vagina. Perfect. So if you I don't, will get one. Then... <laughs> because what I am is determined. <laughs> I see something I Perfect want, to I'm like the dojo of comedy. <laughs> you know, uh, if you get a pocket pussy sponsor, then you can plug that right there. Okay. <laughs> I'd plug a pocket pussy. That's way funnier than you guys gave a credit. That's way funnier. Yeah, I don't know. That was, that was just for the ladies, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Double <laughs> uh, Carlisle Forrester at Instagram, and good luck spelling it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's just car and the first part of island. It's like Isle of Carl. Carl Isle. Yeah. Yeah. Like Carl if Isle. it was an entire island of Carl from The Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah. And when you get off, when of I get off the plane, the first Carl. thing you say is, Carl! <laughs> Where's Carl? <laughs> At some point, let the kid go, man. He's not happy. <laughs> let him run away. <laughs> Wait, you haven't uh, watched the show in a bit? <laughs> Carl is dead. Yeah, but yeah. when he was alive. When he was alive, yes. It was all the time leave, about Carl. Just leave him alone. Oh, yeah, it was. That's what dads do. A lot. <laughs> worked really, let him rebel, you worked really hard to protect Carl. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Our next show is July 30th at uh, 315, 12.15, 3.15 where some of you are, uh, 12.15 Pacific Time, July 30th. Two great guests. You're going to get to meet them if you walk out of here slowly. <laughs> <laughs> if you race out of here, I don't know. I'm not a racer. Green means go. Did you like your dab, by the way? Yes, it wasn't mean. Sometimes they're mean and then I don't like them back. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's what's nice about these is that you can... I just don't want to be bullied by smoke. Yeah. It's just rude. You can regulate the temperature much nicer. It doesn't stay hot for as long. It's, it's yeah, definitely it's the nice. more convenient way to go. It's like at every stage of doing a dab, I don't know if it's going to make me cough. Even at the very end, I'm like, yeah. am I going to cough? And this one, I'm... I'm, I'm Still thinking I've got a cough coming, but it, it's not happening. I'm and they sneak up on something you should fight through? Here it or comes, here it comes. Will your lungs collapse? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd say just go ahead and cough. Cough it out. Do you ever... Um... It gets you higher, dude. It's no, like, it's you don't cough, you, you don't, don't cough, get it all. Dude. It gets you higher. You open up your lungs. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not... I just cough just for fun sometimes. <laughs> I just like to take a big bong rip and then go, where's Carl? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, laughter, laughing makes me cough a lot. Yeah, and so too. that's kind of a bad thing. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I get I, I'm sick. super amused by things. <laughs> I'm so amused all the time and then it makes me cough. Uh, oh, but I can live with it. Why are these lighters numbered? So, so we, we know which ones we lose. Decide uh, when one's missing or not. Oh my that's God. such a fucking, that's such a high game to play. See, I knew it. You fucking bitch, you stole it. Yeah, this one doesn't have a number on it. So did we permanently lose number one? Wow. Or did somebody just peel the one the off this one? 
<laughs> or is it obvious yeah. this is number one? <laughs> I just want to point Two. out, you know you've made it Two when you four. have a pipe of your own face. I think he so. didn't make that. This I is think I... amazing. You're doing pretty good, dude. Look at this thing. And a good. joint holder that's got my little caricature oh, on it. Oh, that's so cute. And um, just says I that, that, that one has my name, at Doug Benson, my Twitter handle. Love yeah, that. people make you things. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they have likenesses of you that you do not want to see. <laughs> like, it's a like being chased bag? around by a like funhouse your, mirror. It's just <laughs> your face on a colostomy bag. Or a magnifying glass. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for, I feel so uh, great about this episode because I'm not rushed here at the end to uh, wrap it up because we have a, a rather hard out uh, at the end. It's going to happen soon. But... Uh, <laughs> We gotta get the real celebs in here now. Usually I'm just banging <laughs> through things. I, don't you hate that feeling when, it, when a zit's just like, I'm almost there. Uh, I'm, almost at, I'm almost at the door. You can feel my presence. You there bet? you go. Does anybody else want another dab? I don't want to uh, hold anybody up. Carla, I was gonna do another dab. You know I want to another dab. Get one in last, last second. Thank you, Taylor Rizzo. Of course. <laughs> the dab master. Yeah. Dab master T. Yes. We'll all see right. you in the next show Take and all in the, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Even if they suck like yeah. that one. Even the Patreon <laughs> only show. Because I appreciate the effort. <sighs> oh my God. Doing uh -huh. Doug with dabs. <laughs> <laughs> you can have another one too, Carmen, later. Thanks. Not now, though. <laughs>